absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. And um, just one final question. Um, is there a difference between writing a speech in the real world versus writing a speech for the virtual world, i.e., you know, Zoom webinars and, you know, things like that? Yeah, I, I think uh, this is a, this is a very live debate at the moment. And I don't know mm. if you've been watching um, the Democrats convention that they're doing virtually at the moment. It's been absolutely fascinating watching how people are trying to tackle this. Um, and I don't think people have settled on um, a, a perfect answer to this yet. Certainly from what I've seen so far, um, and I wrote a short um, blog uh, about this um, which I'll I can I can put up on Twitter after this if people are interested in reading it just on, on my thoughts from the first night from the convention for me I think um, if you're doing video you've got to keep it shorter to be honest I think you know without the audience interaction of the claps and the cheers and the laughs it's very difficult to hold on uh, to people's attention without that sort of excitement uh, mm -hmm. building in a room so you know a convention speech could you know typically go on for for almost an hour the generally down to about five minutes here the exceptions have so far have been michelle obama uh, and barack obama last night uh, michelle obama's i thought was interesting in that her tone i felt was much more uh, suited to uh, a person's living room and she seemed very uh, and i think that's probably about right in terms of a different form of writing um for for the for the online world for, for writing for zoom or what have you um, Barack Obama's speech was uh, very different. I mean, that was presidential. Um, it was given with a, the inscription about the Constitution to the side of him, and it was much more presidential. Um, and, uh, you know, I think both worked to a different degree. I think 20 minutes that they both did was the absolute outer limit of, of probably where you can keep people, you know, not political geeks like me, but, you know, <laughs> normal people keep their attention for more than 20 minutes if it's just a speech uh, on camera i think you stretch it there I, I would like to see uh, a bit more use of visuals um yeah. and, and film overplayed people talking you know make yeah. it look more like a party political broadcast i would frankly yeah. um, i think that would probably work better and maybe that's where we'll get to as, uh, as time goes on but yeah. people are still experimenting at the moment and you know I'd be really interested to hear what, what other people's thoughts are. Yeah, and we're very much still in the premature stages of this new normal, if you think about it. I mean, I think I feel like a lot of people now will obviously continue using these virtual platforms and so on. So I guess it's just kind of like a learning curve and something that, you know, in time will enhance and get better. So, Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. What, what I would say is the writing process remains absolutely critical and you should probably come to the college to learn about it. Yes, absolutely. Come <laughs> to our college and learn more about it. 